We're back on this special edition of Triad today. Uh, it's my pleasure to have uh, uh, Roger Sharp and Virginia Fox here on this 5th Congressional District uh, debate. And once again, thank you for, for being here, both of you. Jim, uh, we started right into it, and I didn't get a chance to say thank you very much for doing it. Um, we agreed to this back in June, again, contrary to what a lot of people have said or written about this, uh, and we wanted to make sure our agreement with you was that this would be the, the first opportunity that anybody would have to do something like this. Right. Um, it's actually the second time that Roger and I have appeared together, but there was no press at the first event, and he had asked only for one, so we're actually doing two, but since there was no press at the other one, you're yeah. getting Well, we're this. glad to have you, and for the record, you're I'll... generous. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I think you're being sarcastic, but that's uh, that's okay, uh, Roger. Um, let's talk about fundraising, which is something that I, it, it gets up the ire of a lot of people. Uh, and both of you, I want to jump on both of you about this. On the one hand, uh, the critics uh, from the journal, uh, and, and I think it's an actual real newspaper, the journal, which same journal, uh, were criticizing you for uh, giving some of your campaign contributions to other candidates. On the other hand, there have been critics of you, Roger, saying that you said you would never take any PAC money, but you did. So this time, both of you are on the defensive, and, and I want to see you sort of answer that one. And uh, Roger, go ahead. We had uh, two in-kind contributions. One was sent by email that was unsolicited, and it had to do with names on the list. And another was secured through the DNC, also a list of names, and it was an in-kind so you did not solicit any PAC monies? No PAC money. Okay. Virginia, on your... Uh, but you did, you did take money from Charlie Rangel, I think, didn't you? I think you did that. Oh, uh, indeed. I, and I'm proud to do that. He's a wonderful American. And Does I'm he glad. have a pack, or did he just no, give me money? He okay. gave me a contribution. All right, Virginia, uh, yeah. the question. On, on um, giving money to other candidates. Well, when I ran uh, the first time two years ago, uh, many Republican candidates helped me out when I was running. And there's just a general understanding that we're going to help each other. Obviously, I want to stay in the majority because you can get more accomplished if you're in the majority. And so friends of mine needed help, and I, sh I shared with them some of the uh, contributions that have been given to me. I also uh, gave some funding to the NRCC. Again, that's part of what's expected. So do Democrats. I mean, it's not like uh, not, uh, that's just Republicans who do you that. You share the wealth. E everybody shares. Because it's important that we help each other get elected. Yeah, for, Quickly, for a bald and paid for Congress, it's a wonderful thing. In Virginia, I'm running against that, both Republican and Democrat. Don't you see? That's the whole idea. Well, there are some of I, us who believe that the third party in America is the incumbent party. I mean, and, and no offense to Virginia well, who's sitting here, but she, I'm just saying she's that. She's taken PAC money from ExxonMobil and the petroleum industry at a time when they're fleecing the American public and she's going to try to convince people that she won't represent their interest in the Congress? Do you want to That's respond? right. You know, Roger, I learned once a long time ago that people will accuse you of doing things that they themselves would do. So you've accused me of being influenced by what people give me. That means that you would do that. I have said there is not enough money in the world to buy my vote, and that is the case. I cannot be influenced by contributions. Okay, let's leave it at that on that topic. I think we got some answers on that. I'm not sure. I've thrown out all my notes by now, And uh, by the way. Uh, we're going to take a quick break a little early and come back, and I want to talk about uh, some other issues, including uh, whether anybody should even vote for a Republican or Democrat. Get all the rascals out. I don't know. I'm just going to ask, but we'll do that when we come back.